chart summarizes the effect. On one unit, on two units, on three, and on five units. Photography at normal speed shows the movement of the toxic cell. If organisms which have not degenerated too far are transferred to normal medium, some of them recover. Watch the top left hand cell. The lower end will give rise to normal cells. The numbers giving rise again to normal bacteria depend on the previous dose of penicillin and the length of time that they were exposed to it. Note that the swollen part of this cell undergoes lysis. The bacillary cell wall can also be dissolved by lysozyme. Here, Bacillus megatherium is shown exposed to egg whites containing this enzyme. First, the cells separate from each other. After less than 10 minutes, the cell contents escape to form a thin walled sphere known as a protoplast. Protoplasts are also produced by penicillin if the swellings are prevented from bursting by making the suspending medium hypertonic. They are motile, since in spite of losing the cell wall, the flagella are retained. The production of long forms and cells with weak walls may be the result of many forms of trauma and is not specific. Here is a strain of the coliform group which gives much the same appearance when subject merely to anaerobic conditions. There was no other abnormal factor in its environment. The action of other antibiotics is different from that of penicillin, no morphological change being produced, only the rate of division and growth being altered. The effect is well illustrated by the action of chloramphenicol on a strain of Salmonella typhimurium, which is sensitive to 32 units. On the left, it is growing on normal medium, and on the right, on agar containing four units of chloramphenicol. Only the rate of division is altered, and if the time scale were changed, the two shots would look the same. The direct relationship between the rate of growth and the dose of chloramphenicol is shown here. The action of penicillin is then to alter the morphology of the organism and lead to lysis of the cell. Chloramphenicol, like other bacteriostatic drugs, acts by increasing the generation time without changing the appearance of the cells. 